And here we are now getting straight into it. I think we saw a lot of PS2, but FD, we have not seen these two players play on FD, and we've seen five games between them already. So I yeah. wonder if that was... I, I'm wondering why that was. Perhaps uh, Laird is less fond of PS2 than he was earlier on, considering the fact that otherwise they probably would have just, you know, gone to it. But Maybe. Let's see all. How, yeah, let's see how this uh, ends up panning out. Because Jonathan G did win all of their games on PS2, so... No, I think I think um, four out of five of the games on PS2, so I think Laird did win one of them. No, Laird won a... No, 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 I'm saying all of the games that Jonathan G won were on PS2. Oh, yes. But, yeah. You know, you know what might have happened? It might have been the whole, like, it starts off with, hey, you want to just go PS2? And then yeah. the second time around, it's just like, no, let's actually strike. And you end up on the stage and you actually want to be on more. Oh, oh boy. Wow. And, for, you know, keeping his hand warms in losers, Laird is the one who's uh, fresh. Yeah. It and... might take a little bit of time for Jonathan to get into the swing of things because right now, this percent lead is growing even more. Oh that trade God. is absolutely something that that, <laughs> that was Laird is gonna take oh my god yeah Laird has won that trade absolutely won that but trade and then some all right we have a clean clean stock lead for Laird right now Ooh, already getting those ladders and this is looking so solid for Laird but Jonathan is not giving up so easily Already we're seeing some nice mid for combos. Solid damage. 60. Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead. Oh. He's gone. It's done. Okay. Oh, well then. <laughs> that was two spikes. Nope. Two spikes. Speed in running game one. That's all Laird needed to do. And how long was that game? Like it was about that two was, minutes. Yeah. Less than two minutes long. Yeah, that was less than two minutes long. Yep. You know what you could do in that time? Use the promo code on Matcharino. I mean, also watch it. That's true, but like... But it's never it's never too hyped for not Matcharino. Exactly. The game will always be waiting to get back. Hello, Cad. Cad. Here for meowing. Hmm. You will soon enough, sure. Anyway, so moving into this game two, I think that a big part of that was, you know, pace was set by that first stock that Laird took. And, you know, maybe it's the fact that he's been playing against a gutsy, gutsy Falcon for the last three games, but it feels like he's braver than he was the first time these two played. Definitely. And I think that's important against Pyra and Mithra. You need to be brave. Because sometimes there's times where you need to just go in to stop something before it happens. Or sometimes and there's just when you when your opportunity is there, you know. Mm -hmm. Then again, be careful because if you take if if you're not good at gauging when your actual opportunity is, you might take a really early like huge amount of damage. Or if you're up against a pyro, you might just die at this. Yeah. But this is a stage that. A lot of Samus mains I've seen have played on it, have gone to this stage because, you know, it's a very big stage. But on the other hand, the side blast zones are very tiny, very tiny. And that means that Pyra is going to be killing it like 30. On the other hand, I believe in the first set they played, uh, this is Laird won on this. Stage. Yes, mm -hmm. Laird did win. They on only this. played one game on the stage and Laird won it. So at the very least, it seems that they're not really letting the stage information from the first set dictate how they're choosing what they're choosing right now mm -hmm. absolutely but this is the danger zone right now oh gonna be surviving that hit but he probably can't take Ooh. another one of those pyra aerials yeah pyra's aerials you know just <laughs> so deadly Oh, oh my, this could be huge. And intercepts with the neutral air. Just fantastic placement. The follow throughs from Laird so far have been amazing. And oh, 
Interesting. Down that was... throw up smash. That's something we haven't really seen him try and go for. And oh no! Oh, I saw that bomb come out, and I knew something saucy was about to happen. Twenty-eight percent. What? What is happening right now? The, guys, when these two fought in winners, it was completely neck and neck. Every single game was like last hit. But right now, Laird is just putting on a show. I just remember something from last set. It was last hit outside of game four, I think. Yes, it was, it was last hit outside of game four. Stage. And it was on this stage, and that was a two stock. Oh my. Just getting more and more damage. 85%. He's yet to lose his first stock. Laird is looking just the most commanding I've seen him all bracket. Oh my god. No way. Oh. Laird, no way. Are... Okay, 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 okay. Back to normal now. All right, but oh, that dash attack almost does it. We are so... And that's going to do it. Yep. That single back air. That's 2-0. Laird really, really looking strong right now. Now, okay, it is worth noting, it is worth noting that both of those games, Laird did take the first stock and also had, like, a disgusting edge guard. Yes. Um, and, I mean, those are, those two things, I mean... I will say there's definitely a trend going if he's if every game he's taking the first stock and also getting a disgusting edge guard, but there's no guarantee about it. And I'm as we move into game three, if Jonathan, you know, at the beginning it was super even. He even had a big lead for a while there. Mm -hmm. If he's able to capitalize on an early lead and able to take the first stock, I wonder if Laird is gonna be able to repeat that same performance. When I see that clip of the, the <laughs> when I see that clip of Laird spiking after the bomb, I just, <laughs> oh my God. That was all character swap. Whoa. Completely 180 character swap. We're having Rob versus Three, Samus. Two, and still one. going the same stage though. So maybe some confidence that Rob will be able to do the job here on town. Oh. <gasps> Oh no. Quick Ooh. question. Uh, is Jonathan the same person as Joshathan? I have no clue. Oh, they yeah. are in fact the same person. Okay, so nor we have seen, I mean, we have seen Joshathan play his uh, his Pyra a lot, but also the character that I've seen personally with, with the most results from has been uh, his Rob. So going back oh. to at least one of his old faithfuls, that might be the necessary adjustment, especially because Laird is not prepared for this probably you know he's just been playing a, he's played how many seven games against the pyra mithra this is the first time he's staring down the rob the adaptation needs to be happening instantaneously but i mean it looks like he's adapting very well right now like look at this well <laughs> not enough yeah and now we have that situation where laird did not take the first stock and actually be not taking the first stock against Rob is so much worse. He's um, he cleans it up though. A star KO. Wow. Surprise Lair didn't like charge up the charge shot there though. Oh wait, was it fully charged? Oh, I mean. Oh, oh my god. Mm. No, 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 no. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Somehow nobody died. Miraculously. That's it's a Christmas fun. miracle. <laughs> in May. <laughs> it's not even Christmas in July. That's true. Wow. All right, we do have for the first time so far, Laird taking the percent lead. Oh, let's see if he can actually convert it into a stock lead though. Rob, much, much heavier than Pyra or Mithra. So getting the stock is gonna require a lot more effort. I actually do like this character switch though, for a very specific reason. What Laird was doing to win those games against Jonathan was using that very exploitable recovery of Pyra and Mithra to his advantage. And because of that, switching to Rob 
Oh. Oh. Oh no, who DC'd? Wait, what? Laird. Okay, so what is the, um... Oh my god, these flags are just increasing. No contest. Uh... What is the process? Run me through the, uh... Whoops. Ah! If Laird has to DQ because of that... That would be the worst. That would be. If oh man, if you're uh hypothetically, so if you're um Jonathan and you just you you you, you got kind of got given the hands in winners finals and then in losers finals, it feels like you're about to go down 03 and then you somehow wind up in grands because of like a DC. Mm. You, you know, like at the very least, usually when you get knocked out of winners. And, you know, have to fight your way to grands. You've had some wind. You know, you managed to win and get some wins under your belt. You know, a little bit of wind in your sails. But, uh... You think he would just go rob immediately against Quid if he makes it there? I don't think the rob's coming out against Quid. What I is the, the rob PT matchup like? I think it's one we haven't seen in a while. For PT? Or for okay, Rob? so Laird does have land. It's just that. Well, okay, yeah, Devin. Devin will be the expert on PT Rob, considering, you know, brotherly bonds and all that. But Laird does have land. It's just an issue with uh, probably internet in that. Like, I know some people have land, but they're. Like, the way that their internet is wired or something like that. Like, the way that the router is wired, stuff like that. You know, it just messes everything up. Oh. Okay. All right, so we're going to be getting a uh, sort of a half match right now. I'll talk on air for this one. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, so I think we're running back two fresh stocks, and if Laird DCs again, it's a DQ for him. But, you know, they were going, they were doing pretty even, and, uh, you know, yeah. everyone, no, one, no one's upset. So just going to yeah. have an amicable uh, reset of game two. Three. Game three, yeah. Yeah, because Laid's up 2 well. Yep, yeah. And then uh, it'll be two fresh stocks. So they're just going to kill themselves and then start from yep. there. For some reason, I thought that uh, the Rev It Up was uh, like the Smash Pros, the uh, parody melee dock. But no, it's because Revenant Esports, <laughs> that's his sponsor. Have you seen the Smash Pros? Uh, no. It's very funny. Oh. Would <laughs> recommend. All right. Got Jim Jam, Flim Flam, <laughs> the purest. Uh. Oh what? <laughs> just a just a Zare to end that off, or just start it off. I mean. Yep. So, I mean, <laughs> all right. We're just getting right into it. This this is Smash Four. We're having two stocks apiece. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. The dark days. Anyway, I like two stock format personally. But anyway, so getting right into it here, we've been seeing that a lot of these oh uh of these side B's right off the stage. But one thing that Laird has shown is he is fantastic at using the down B to just wiggle and microspace off the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, that might be it. No, no nope. somehow. Yeah, with the down B, just hurt box shifts. Doesn't get mm -hmm. hit. That's a very important part of this matchup. And, like, Town is also very tall, so a lot of Rob's kills might be a little bit later, unless they're those side Bs. Which definitely he's been looking for. Ooh. That's the first time I've actually seen that uh, call out that Lair usually loves to do not work. 
Well, it's uh, like normally so reliable of yeah. that there's there when you're when you're the person that's being caught by it, there's so few options that actually well, it's like the options that deal with it are the ones that you would not normally pick in that situation. Yeah. Oh, that's the first time we've seen that side be connect. Oh. And that's a fully charged charge shot there. <gasps> oh. And it connects. Oh and that's my a God. huge connection. 71% on to Laird is not great, but he's living. He has a chance to possibly turn this around, although it feels like Jonathan has finally started to uh, understand what he needs to be doing in the matchup. Yeah, 103% even greater right now. Oh, Ooh, falls out of it. The bomb saved him. Because the arm rotor is a reflector as well, it set the bomb off to be able to hit Laird. And because it hit Laird, it saved him. Oh, that's something that could possibly be relevant in the future because he's often going for the bomb uh, when he's off stage. Or it might be extremely relevant because it kept him alive when he should be dead right now. Yeah. He is absolutely still fighting tooth and nail, not just giving Jonathan this last stock of his, but 160 trapped in the corner. The gyro, is that going to be enough? It, in fact, is. There we have it. That's with a game on the board. Jonathan, uh, now the score here is 1-2. Wow. All right, so one thing that I actually noticed was the gyro in order to counteract a lot of these Samus projectiles, you know, throws it out and mm -hmm. eats the charge shot. Though I think it was even eating those missiles. Yes, um, that's actually big. But uh, one adaptation that was really key was he started going for like short hop charge shots. Started like doing it at just the height so that it would be co that would be go over those um those spinning gyros on, that were being thrown in on the ground. Uh, yep, going to be sticking with the characters. I think that's the right call for uh, for Jonathan at this point. Mm -hmm. The Pyramithra, just whatever effectiveness they had, kind of wasn't there anymore. And this yeah. Rob seems to be showing up for work, doing what needs to be done. Also, one big thing about this matchup, you had mentioned that earlier about how the gyro eats to the charge shot. Reason for that is because the gyro has a hurt box. And charge shot, fully charged, is a it is a transcendent projectile, which means that it does not collide with projectiles. But because it hits a hurt box, it is stopped. Very few projectiles in this game have that property. Yeah, I think Link's bombs are another one. Mm -hmm. Yes, the bombs, the Lloyd rockets, stuff now, like that. Now, when that gyro gets launched back, it doesn't have a hitbox, right? I think it does have a hitbox all the time. It will it will not hurt Rob though, right? I don't quite remember. No, it just got knocked back by the Yeah, he just knocked it back with this so it didn't have out of a hitbox. Okay. Yeah. Um But Anyway. Oh, this, these two are actually neck and neck in percent at this moment. Grabs the gyro. And one thing, actually, I'm reminding of... Oh! Super, super deep for that one. But that was worth it to go that deep, especially because oh, Rob absolutely. can make it back. Rob can... With, with if he has gas in the tank, he's good to go. Mm -hmm. And he is running on diesel. Oh, there's the Laird Classic right there. Fantastic oh. stuff right there, putting on all of this pressure. And finally, the fear had eked its way. Jonathan panicking and going for the air dodge. And Laird was absolutely oh. there to punish it. Oh, we have not really seen. I mean, 
we saw it so reflect the bombs. We saw it reflect the bombs and it hurt him. So that's the first time we've seen a successful reflection. And even if that didn't necessarily get him that much, that was a lot of damage. 82% now on Laird. He has to worry about getting put off stage and hit by another side B. Yet he also has to find an opening somehow. Oh! The jitters there making him go for an uppy out of shield and he might get punished for that. Rob down throw up smash, do you think? I mean, if that's if he doesn't mash, which he probably would. Yeah. But, uh, ooh. Mm -hmm. ooh. All of these moves from Laird are actually just barely not hitting. We're seeing back airs of, you know, that hit the ground too early. Barely. Nice delay. Oh. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> and... Not only did he go all the way from one side of the stage to the other, he also managed to be aggressive at the end of it on top of everything else. Oh, and there, I... The fact that Rob is able to stall for so long was so pivotal there. Didn't matter how many bombs, didn't matter how long Laird took off stage. Jonathan was just waiting for him at the end with a, uh, with a back air regardless. And there it is, that gyro coming into play again. That was huge because Laird would have gotten a decent trade from that if the gyro did not have a hurt box. Yeah, this was this was Laird's counter pick, right? Yes, it was. I don't think this stage is working out for him. The bomb, the middle platform has actually been messing with some of his bombs, and I mean, oh. I think overall Honestly, it feels like just the layout of the stage has really been benefiting Jonathan. Maybe go into just. Uh, Kalos might have been a better pick, but you never know with Laird. Laird can definitely make comebacks. Oh yeah, for sure. But at the same time, Jonathan, as a with his Rob, when his Rob has a lead, it's it's something that requires a great amount of diligence to overcome. Absolutely. Oh. Ooh. This is looking dangerous for Laird. <gasps> How did that not connect? <laughs> Just stayed back as far as possible. But even now, he's still down an entire stock. If he manages to clean up right here, he's at 121%. Oh, oh no. That's and it. No, it oh, is. Just barely living. That was, was smart way deep not off stage once more. <gasps> oh. Jab almost killed. Jab almost killed from across the stage. I mean, Jonathan's at 202%, so, you know, on that DC yep. area code. <laughs> and now we have a game five between these two. Wow. I was expecting a 3-0 from the pace Laird was going at, but that character swap was so vital. Absolutely. And, oh. I mean, not only that, it's been pretty dominant since switching to the Rob. Mm -hmm. We haven't even really had any close games yet, I think, between these yeah. between these two characters. So yeah, it was. I think there's some profound adjustments that need to take place from Laird in order to not just get reverse 3 0 right here in Losers Finals. Right into that back air. Rob can just stall for so long. The Philip DeFranco, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> let's just jump right into it. <laughs> yeah, the micro spacing on that. Alright, we've taken some time, and it seems like, yep, yeah, we're gonna be getting the same characters, but I don't think we're gonna see Smash Roll again. Let's see where Laird ends up taking him for this game five with two. This is big. This will be the final stage pick. Ooh, FD. Okay. FD. I I agree with this. I think this is this is gonna be okay. For one thing, the landing, um, 
Like, Samus is a character that can definitely catch landings between... Z oh, no, are you dead? N no, Samus can make it back. Are from that. you dead? Nope. Not after two. D he's dead. He's he yep. <laughs> All That's right. Rough. Um, I don't think it mattered which stage he went to. <laughs> yeah. He could have gone to he could have gone to Palutena's temple, and that probably would have that still would have killed him, you know. WarioWare. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I miss WarioWare. But like hazards off WarioWare, you know. <laughs> I do not miss stop. WarioWare. Dying to flare blitz at like ten. <laughs> That's no, but I'm talking about hazards. Sorry, hazards on. I misspoke. Oh, hazards on WarioWare. I missed that. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, and um, I apologize for the detour, but I mean, mm. that that was just such a absolutely brutal start that the and the fact that Laird has always been on the back foot against this Rob, even now. Okay, well maybe really some nice damage there, but he needs to clean this stock up ASAP. Yeah, Rob is. What tied for like, like twentieth heaviest in the game or something like that? Oh, I think he's he's heavier than that. Mm, like eighteenth? Uh, oh, I think he's been like top twelve. I, think. I know he's lighter than uh Terry and Samus, who are at tied for ninth. Uh, so. <laughs> Man, the fact that Terry weighs as much as Samus, and wi That's... which weighs more than Ridley. Which was yeah. <laughs> Okay, actually, I like the idea behind that. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, the, the only way that you're turning this game around at this point is basically with some kind of clutch cheeky edge guard. But oh. uh, Jonathan, now aware of that, just stays <laughs> on stage and fires the gyro. And that's, a, that's basically the, la the massive lead cemented. This is now Laird's last stock of the entire higher tournament possibly and every time he gets touched every time he gets hit that's basically a, a scar that will not heal unless he's able to actually make the full-on comeback but i mean look at that damage right now this is definitely workable here but ugh, every single time just as you said every single hit makes it just a little bit less workable. <gasps> no way. That was so close to being just enough. Okay, he's getting a little bit hungry, throwing out these back airs, able to dodge the, 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 the roto arm there, but once again, he needs to find the stock he does, 87%. That's a lot. That is not an insignificant amount. Oh, especially because Rob can kill really early with some things, but this is still within the realms of possibility if you are Laird. The question is, how do you... Oh, the sourest spot on back air. But I guess it sniped the jump, and that's it. Oh, that's got to hurt to get hit by that. Oh, but... Excuse oh, me, that was a hiccup. That means that Jonathan G gets to attempt their revenge on Quid here for the grand finals. And I honestly, I think we are going <gasps> to see the Rob. For, oh, for I see what it was. They dropped down, tried to go for the jump, but they got hit by the down air right during the jump. Yeah. The start of it, too. Mm. I mean, yeah, it, it was kind of always a big ask to, uh... Yep, there it is. Little Halo. I can see you. Yeah. Uh, so now we are going to be having the big rematch from winners finals, but I think that it's it's gonna be rematch with an asterisk because mm. after basically that Pyramithra just lost five games in a row, pretty handily lost five games in a row. Switches to Rob, immediately gets the reverse 3 0. I think as we move into win grand finals here, if you're Jonathan, just start off with the Rob. Just yeah. at the very least, see how it does, considering the fact that you just had three really good games with it. 